Given the following vector field in oriented curve C, evaluate the vector line integral, where the vector field is defined by the components yx on a line segment from 1, 1 to 6, 5. So the first thing that we want to do here is parameterize the curve. And so our curve is a line segment from 1, 1 to 6, 5. So let's recall the parameterization for a line segment. So let's remember the Cartesian version of our line segment, or our Cartesian equation. We say from some point, say x naught, y naught, to x sub 1, y sub 1, converts to the parametric formula or parametric equation, parametric. So our x component x of t is equal to x naught plus t multiplied by x sub 1 minus x naught. And the y component of our parametric equation is y naught plus t times y sub 1 minus y not such that t is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So this is the formula that we're going to use to find our parameterization. So we'll label x1 or x0, y0 is 1, 1, and x sub 1, y sub 1 is 6, 5. So we have that x of t is going to be equal to 1 plus t multiplied by 6 minus 1, which is going to leave us with 1 plus 5t for our x component. And our y component here is going to be 1 plus t times 5 minus 1, or 1 plus 4t. So the parameterization for our curve, see our line segment here, is represented by the vector valued function x of t, y of t, where x is 1 plus 5t, y is 1 plus 4t, and this is 4, t greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So we'll now use this parameterization to find the tangent vector and rewrite the vector field. So step two, let's find the tangent vector. So using our parameterization, we can see that vector r prime of t is defined as the vector 5, 4. We can now rewrite the vector field in terms of t. So we'll keep in mind here that we were given our vector field f defined by the components yx. So then rewriting this in terms of t, we replace y with the y component of our parameterization. So that's going to be 1 plus 4t. And we replace x with the x component of our parameterization, 1 plus 5t. So now we're ready to start setting up the integral. So to get that integrand, we know we want to take the dot product of our tangent vector and our vector field. So we're going to find the dot product of the vector field, the parameterized vector field, and the tangent vector. We have the vector 1 plus 4t, 1 plus 5t, and we are dotting this with the tangent vector 5, 4. And so this becomes 5 multiplied by 1 plus 4t plus 4 multiplied by 1 plus 5t, 
And simplifying here, we'll distribute the 5 through and the 4 through. And then combine up our like terms. So I have 5 plus 20t plus 4 plus 20t, which leaves us with 9 plus 40t. And we are now ready to go ahead and set up that line integral. We have our vector line integral over C of the vector field dotted with the unit tangent vector ds, which we converted to the integral from A to B of the dot product of our vector field with the tangent vector dt. So this is the form that we are using for computation. So plugging in what we have, this is the integral from 0 to 1 of 9 plus 40t dt. So this integrates to 9t plus 20t squared from 0 to 1. And when we evaluate, we have 9 times 1 plus 20 times 1 squared. When we substitute 0 and everything cancels. So we have 9 plus 20 for a beautiful final answer of 29.